Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics in the topic of 3 phase system. So the question is, a soil moist unit weight is 16.5 kN per meter cube and water content is 15% then specific gravity is 2.70. So find out the dry unit weight that is gamma d then porosity n then degree of saturation s yes, then the mass of water so the rho w so we have to find out so there is mass of water in kg per m cube that must be added for complete saturation so how much amount of water so the how much mass of water we have to add for the completely saturated soil so this is the moist unit weight so we can uh, convert into the fully saturated soil so the given value is so the given the gamma moist uh, unit weight so that is bulk unit weight is uh, 16.5 kN per meter cube that is given then water content W equal to 15 percentage that is 0 0.15 then specific gravity G equal to 2.70 so these are all the given so we have to find out the first we have to find out the gamma D value so the solution solution the gamma d so we know the formula for gamma d equal to gamma divided by 1 plus w so we know the formula gamma d equal to gamma divided by 1 plus w so we know another formula gamma d equal to g into gamma w divided by 1 plus e so but we, do, we don't know the e value so that's why we can use this formula so now gamma d equal to so the gamma value is uh, 16.5 divided by 1 plus w is 0 0.15 so from that we got the value of gamma d equal to 14.3 kN per meter cube so this is the value so this is the answer for first question so second question we have to find out the porosity so that is uh, n so for that n we can find out the e value so after that the y ratio value after that we can find out the n value so for uh, for e value we can uh, use this formula so the gamma d we, we find out 14.3 uh, equal to so g value is uh, 2.70 into gamma w is 9.81 divided by 1 plus e so from that 1 plus e equal to 2.70 into 9.81 so this will come uh, below so 14.3 so now the e values e equal to 2.70 into 9.81 divided by 14.3 minus 1 so solving this we got the value of e is equal to 0 0.85 So from the E we can find out the porosity. So now the N equal to E divided by 1 plus E. So we know the formula. So now N equal to 0 0.85 divided by 1 plus 0 0.85. So now the N value is 0 0.46 that is N equal to 46 percentage. So this is the answer for second question. So we can uh, we find out the sigma D value and as well as porosity value so after that we have to find out the yes uh, yes that is the degree of saturation value and mass of water we have to find out so now uh, now we have to find out the degree of saturation that is s value so now the we know the formula e into s equal to w into g so the formula we know so now e value is uh, so the s value equal to w into g divided by e so now w is 0 0.15 that's a given and uh, g value is 2.70 that's also given e we find out uh, the value is uh, 0 0.85 okay so from that we got the value of 0 0.48 so that is 48 percentage so this is the third question so the degree of saturation after that we have to find out the gamma saturation value so for the purpose of uh, find out the mass of water to be added for complete saturation so now gamma saturation equal to the 100 percent saturation so the saturation 100 percent the formula is g plus e into gamma w divided by 1 plus e so because uh, e into s uh, so s value is 1 so we can put only e so now we can substitute all the values so 2.70 plus 0 0.85 into the gamma w is 9.81 divided by 1 plus 0 0.85 
for the for that uh, we got the answer of 18.8 kilo newton per meter cube so next fourth question the mass of water to be added for complete saturation so now the rho e equal to rho w equal to gamma divided by g so for that gamma is equal to gamma saturation minus gamma gamma the bulk unit weight divided by g value so now the gamma saturation we find out 18.8 then uh, gamma uh, bulk unit weight is given so that is uh, 16.5 so divided by so 9.81 so that is a uh, kg kg meter divided by second square into 1000 newton divided by 1 kilo newton into 9.81 kg meter per second square divided by newton so we can convert all the values because this is in uh, kilo newton per meter cube so that's why we can uh, put in conversion so that is uh, in kilo newton per meter square we can convert into uh, kg so uh, for that 1000 newton sorry into newton so 1000 newton divided by 1 kilo newton and uh, for that uh, kilogram so we can convert into uh, 9.81 divided by meter so for that uh, we solve the answer so we got the rho is equal to 2340 kg per meter cube so we can convert into kg so this is the answer so this is the mass of uh, mass in kilogram per meter square is water required to uh, required for complete saturation so 2340 kg per m cube so this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see in next video thank you